Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sister Sister Love and Mukaharu. Um, I want to share a video, a kind of backup video, to back up the other video I did about the hidden truth. Okay, so I had this dream, I think late 2019, I had this dream. So I saw myself in a desert. So just like I was transported to that place and I saw myself in a desert. And then I saw some people living in that desert. They were living in tents, tents, movable tents. That's what I saw. And the desert was very hot, hot sun. I pitied them. The women were wearing kind of hijab as like covering themselves up with kind of veil with long gowns the men the same thing because of the sun i think so so i had that understanding in the dream that that place was part of egypt as like if you're going outskirts of egypt the desert outskirts of egypt that's, as in I knew that I was outskirts of Egypt in that dream, in that desert. So I saw them and it happened that that day was Friday, a Friday, Friday afternoon. The women were preparing, they were doing Friday preparations for the Sabbath. And then, <laughs> and then I saw the men going to fetch water for the women then i saw the women kneading dough what we're making was this flat bread this um is it begin? the flat bread can't remember the name right now unleavened bread <laughs> that was what we're making okay and, and then they were you know they were hastening up they were preparing so Ask them they said they were preparing for the Sabbath. The Sabbath would soon arrive that evening. So, but when I came close to them, I was far off watching everything. But later it was as if, you know, a force pushed me and then I came closer to them and I was watching them keenly. I saw what they were doing and I heard them talking. The language that they were speaking was my language. They were speaking Igbo language. I didn't understand. I was like, wow. What are they doing here? So it was like they were on a journey, traveling, going to somewhere. That's what I got to understand in that dream. So they were preparing for the Sabbath and the Sabbath came. When the Sabbath came was nightfall. When the sun went down and everywhere became dark and the Sabbath came. So this is a confirmation that the Sabbath starts on Friday night, Friday evening. So when the when everywhere became dark, the sun went down, the Sabbath started. They stopped everything they were doing. And they went into their tent. They ate and everything. They went into their tent so as we're going into the tent i saw everything i saw what they used to make their windows it was like a, an improvised uh thing that they used to make their windows and everything everything there was improvised because they were on a journey that was not their permanent home so then i noticed something i never knew this in the night the desert was very cold the breeze came, wind came and was blowing the sand. So the cold was too much that, you know, they told me that, ah, in the desert here, you, you, you have to sleep with the blanket. So I saw their blanket. They brought out the blanket and they gave it to me and I used it to cover myself. And then I woke up. It was like, the afternoon was very hot and the night was very cold. I said, wow. 
this was like kind of compensation because the 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 hotness of of the, the hotness during the day was just too much. So I began to wonder, what was the meaning of this dream? So I've prayed, I've prayed about this dream several times. I came to understand that, or let me say, I've come to a conclusion that. The Sabbath begins at sundown, Friday. That's number one. Number two, well, I've not come, I don't really understand that. What is the relationship between the my people and the Sabbath and you know desert? So is God trying to confirm the first message he gave me that some people in the southeastern part of Nigeria are actually descendants of Jewish people. This may be a confirmation. This may be a confirmation. I leave it to you. Take it to God in prayer. Pray about it. Just like I said in my former video, in my other video, what God wants from us is to turn away from our sins, come to Him, accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, God is not calling you to if you if you if you come to um, know who you are, then you should throw Jesus away. No, you must accept Jesus Christ as your Messiah, as your Savior. Then you keep God's commandment, stay away from sin. This is what God wants from us. Thank you very much for watching. Share this video and pray about it.